Okay, so just to wrap up this video on the stomach, there are two more um, substances that are released into the stomach from the cells of the stomach that I'd like to go over. Uh, the first of those is intrinsic factor. Its name shows you just how mysterious it was for a while. Intrinsic factor, meaning that they knew it was in the stomach, but they didn't really know how it was working. So I'm going to write about that down here. All right, so what is important about intrinsic factor is that it is necessary for vitamin B12 absorption. So if you don't make enough intrinsic factor, you will not be able to absorb an adequate amount of vitamin B12. B12 is found um, either in animal products or in brewer's yeast. And so we don't need a lot of it, but we do require a certain amount for making red blood cells. So it's essential for making healthy red blood cells there's a particular kind of anemia that it's given a name if the reason someone has anemia is because they don't have enough vitamin B12 and that's called pernicious anemia. As we get older, we tend to make less and less intrinsic factor, and so elderly people are more likely to suffer from pernicious anemia, meaning they don't make enough intrinsic factor to, avoid, to absorb enough vitamin B12, even if they're getting enough in their diet. So in that case, sometimes they're given vitamin B12 injections intramuscularly. So that bypasses the need to make intrinsic factor. And so someone might need to come in every month or two for their vitamin B12 injection. Okay, and then the last substance um, I'm going to teach you about anyway that is secreted into the stomach is called renin as opposed to renin. So there's another word called renin, and that's an enzyme that's released from the kidneys. We'll talk about that later in the quarter. But see the two N's in renin, and so it's pronounced differently, and has a very different job. So we'll write about that down here. Renin is important in breaking down, so it breaks down uh, milk proteins. Uh, in, it, as early as in the stomach, right? so it's actually before we have really active pepsin. So it's um, plentiful in babies. And then as that baby gets older, they make less and less renin if they're not, um, less percentage of their diet is coming from milk. And then eventually pepsin is actually pretty good at taking over most of the role of that is the way that I understand it. Uh, and renin, the way you might have heard of it, is because um, it, it's, it curdles the milk proteins, and so it is um, purified from cow stomachs, and then we use it to make um, cheese. Because it curdles milk. This is why when a baby spits up, you'll see those little chunks it looks like their milk curdled in their stomach, which it did because of this enzyme known as renin.